about. The beast comes roaming around day and night and they... ...believes the less hulks in this world, the better. Doesn't matter. Tells you to hear her back. They fall asleep or go hunt it down, whatever works. Claims that the monstrous fluff hulk has to be around here somewhere. Hulks aren't easy to end, but really, all it takes is putting loads of hulks. You're the only. Oh, it's not even far. Um, it's kind of where I'm... Not really where I needed to go, but... Partially where I wanted to go. I wanted to go uphill, not downhill, but okay. I can't let my stream crash there for a second. But at least we're up and running back now. I still already did this one. Imagine when Toxanol was pumping truckloads of stuff through gutways like this. Worrying to have tons of rock and soil above you. Took care of that. You need to regulate the nozzles so they are joined. That's unblocked. There's nothing stopping the flow. Wow, it led the same way. Okay.
Got him. Heckin' got him. Alright, let's go. Nice find. Stay away from that biohazard. You'll want to wash yourself off for a month. Nah. Let's go to that gas station at least. Look at that view though, look at that. This game is so heckin' huge. Which is a tiny little critter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why? There's a motor juice station. Imagine getting go juice whenever you want. Small things for your big ideas. A story has got to keep moving forward. The cranks need to be unturned in the right order. <laughs> Doom! <laughs> Every other shot fire would reload a bullet. Wow. Wow. That is that is doom. Up for grabs. That's a surf hurdle. The company put those up to harness the power of flowing goo, which doesn't flow so well now. Gripes about how everything's falling into dark space. They sent some scouts out to find an old cave covered with age-old scribbles. They've been gone a long time. Someone needs to bring them home. Says it's not too far off, but there's maybe a better way. Claims the scouts know to look for the fire beacon. Once it's lit, they should come back. But they can't reach the fire beacon. Could you do it? Then they'll know for sure if the scouts got lost in the cave. Says they thank you, 
and the scouts families will too a fire beacon Everything is at stake. Surprised that board never got washed away with the surge of the surf. Listen up. You might be able to hear a surf hurdler when you get closer to it. The surf hurdle harnessed the power of flowing water. The plant had to stop because the goo got way too thick. Anything that moves can generate spark. If you can catch it, you should find a track here if the goo hasn't washed it away. Going back. Okay, well that that goes um down. How do you get up? Ah, oh, there's a climbing wall. the day. I should check the other towers. I should check the other towers too if they had anything. Look at that view though from this dam. Holy cow. No, the mirage. There's the track. And still goo free. Not even raging surf could stop those explorations. The surf hurdle is a little out of the way. Not many lived around these parts, but it must have been amazing to see it back when it was running. One thing about finding all those tracks 
You know you're making tracks too. The stars never give enough light. Toxanol hid their waste in the gutways, but it seeped all around us. Eye on the road. Discover three manholes. Got it. Maybe not sure you want to leave. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I want to leave. I saw red loot back there. I want the red loot. Found the automaton box. Oh, okay. Ghost mask. It looks like a bike seat. Tomaton 4H. Bug eye.
That's a good view. That's a good. It's a very good view. <laughs> If it was daytime, I'd probably be better, but... should pack the poncho. A legendary bat legendary shirt. Shaftaloo Shaftaloo That's a zip line for Pebble done. <laughs> That does go down. There is something down there.
Enjoy the darkness while it lasts. Why is he in the why is he in the toilet? By himself. This one. Thomas Akula im letzten Jahr schon. Turn the pegs in sync. Yeah, let's go. I got laundry. You really put a spin on it. What? What? Wonders why you can't see how pointless all your. Why is he just chilling here? Taking a bath, he's just vibing. Treasure the coming day. The world doesn't have so many anymore. Wow, you lucked out there.
I need one more superb loot to finish this area. I feel like it's back in here. Each new day means new chances. That's all there was. Should be directly ahead and find the uh, clippers. Tree is DNA. Oh, what the heck is that thing? I just realized the tree. I just realized the tree looks like a giant DNA. It's far away. Juju's shop is here somewhere. Ami hilo to to ma se hindi. Let's see. I 
Alright, one more place we're gonna go. Doesn't riding a beast like this feel good? The village way over there. This must be Bionuclear 7H. Better be careful. The contamination here can mess with your molecular structure. Eh, I'll be fine. There it is, the tree of life. The idea that all life is related by common descent. Where the twigs are existing species and those produced in the past represent the succession of the extinct. The tree's great branches were once budding twigs, a connection between the past, present and future. A representation of all extinct and living species with its ever-branching and beautiful ramifications. We are an evolution of those that came before. Don't forget the past. Learn from it. I was like, right, this is the tree, but how do I get in the tree? There's a work there's a workbench over there. This is Dixie's goods. There's an outfitter and an upgrade bench dangling in that little blimp. Let's see. Oh, 
says the shop hold. Good ridey beast, no hurty. Careful you don't slide down the sprill slope. Maybe Honky can show you the way. He's a cat. Monakios thinks most aren't as lucky as you. The fact that you've survived this long says a lot about how tough a customer you are. You don't have to sell him on that. Figures you let him know what you want and he'll help you figure out what you need. Might be the same. You might be one of the shrewdest customers he's ever met. No one gets to be outfitted as well as you without being a sharp shopper. But what are you going to do with all that gear you've got? He figures you'll do the best you can with what you've got. And that you can cut yourself good enough deals to improve on that, too. What you need? Wants you to know he's been on the lookout for great deals for you. And he's happy to share them with such a bargain hunter as you. Did you ever have second thoughts about something you bought? Or worse yet, about something you didn't buy. Life's too short to let things you want pass you by. Thinks you're a rare sort if you don't ever want for anything. Lucky you. Feels good about the world surviving. All his stuff is in it. Appreciates how you tried to help out around here. Even if you didn't buy anything. <laughs> Thinks you made a good match with the Myriad. He made a lot of green selling them all sorts of things over the years. They're really fond of lights, as you know, but they also buy lots of covers for them. Hard to sleep without them. On to new business. He introduces himself as Honky and says that it's his custom to make everyone he meets a customer. He was born to be a merchant. Or maybe it was fate. Regardless, there's nothing he can do to change it. Trading runs in his blood. He'll be fine, even if he doesn't turn a profit on you. That's a trade-off he's willing to make, as it's against his policy not to offer you both joy and profit. Says there isn't anyone fairer left in the remnants of this horror-filled world. Honky says he wants to help you help him. He knows you're someone with the potential to stay loyal to his brand. He always follows the market and listens to what it's telling him to do, but often he feels it's up to him to tell others what they need. He'll give you what you need as soon as he's helped you help him collect an insignificant, good-for-nothing item that has sentimental value to him. Says you shouldn't worry about it, but be sure to do it. Train station bunker. Okay. Let's see.
so many places to be today. a bunker right there. Is that train station? Or bus station? That's a train station. There's the church. There's the cave entrance, I see it now. Let's see. Okay, the Fanaki leaves goes to the jungle. The Myers, I guess the mountains isn't that big if the Myers right there. wait to get out can you it's a place well hidden it's just below the above Out of dates impressed you made it this far, but there's still so much left to do. The end of the world is still on everyone's minds. You've beaten a path where you have the power to destroy or save everyone. Question is, what you'll do with that responsibility? He can sense that your heart beats steadily and acknowledges that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Mau Mau ya. Thinks it's important that you remember who you are and where you came from. Someone without knowledge of their history and origin is like a tree without roots. It's important to stay grounded. You share the same fate as the tree. Out of date says there's a time for everything. 
And now there's no use thinking of the past, for it's gone. Think of the present because that's where you are. It's time to set your priorities as the one who completes things. If you continue to do good, good will follow you. If the world really does end, there won't be anywhere to run. So, he's prepared for the worst. Something he calls the Ark. He hopes you're right. He gets that you mean the journey continues either way, but personally he wants the tree to survive. Out of Date says there's no clear record of the chain of events that changed the course of history and brought the world to its knees. He's found evidence on the Ark, records of a crisis, decades of contamination that permeated the ground and broke its inner core. The contamination disrupted what we now know as key energy, the life force that runs through all things, living and inanimate. He's been told the blight affected everything at a genetic level and turned our perception of normality on its head. It was only those that changed that avoided extinction, proving that the possibility for survival and renewal was real. He understands you are curious about the ship at the foot of the tree. He says it surfaced when the oil broke through the ground. The Ark predates the back-in days, and now, after years of study of the manuals he found inside, he believes he's figured the ship out. The Ark has room for four more, and he trusts you'll apply wisdom to your compassion and choose whom to save if the world comes to end. He'll keep the seats open, and you are free to invite up to four others to join you in the Ark in the event of a cataclysm. Out of Date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Noko in the east. Out of Date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions, he hopes you'll support Noko. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Noko and making sure she gets what she needs is up to you. That doesn't sound good. Out of date was spot on. The hoof puff needs to be stopped. Out of date says that Noko is worried now that the Eastern World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Noko keeps a fabled steed that she has planned to ride out to the World Eater, but needs help to get it prepared. Out of Date suggests that you should head east as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He wonders what's on your mind. Says you should take it easy. Be on the watch for a way out. As long as you're happy about it, Thank you. 
getting swole. Let's see what you can make. Off though, uh, I, I'm, it's pretty late. I need to work tomorrow again. Yay! Not your size, but it'll work. Yeah. Well, I hope I hope your evening was well at least. So I hope your evening. I haven't been on most of the day. I got home and I got I got on around nine for my stream, and then I haven't been. On, I haven't really been able to look at anything all day That's today. Good find. Finishing up here.
<laughs> All right, you two. All right, beans. I guess it for tonight. We did a lot. We went all over here. We didn't go actually inside the dead zone areas. We just went on the cliffs above it. And we did all next. And we also got part of the fields as well. The yurt, yurt fields. But apparently we need to go up here to the swamp because we have to fight the world eater up here. But all right, Beans, I guess it for today. The Ark. One crash, so we'll have to. The stream actually crashed. I'll have to split this thing into two parts. This is the end of uh, both parts. <laughs> but beans, thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you have a good good evening. Um, I'm gonna get to tea this series. I might take a break this week because I've been playing this game for six days straight. <laughs> it's kind of a lot, but beans, thanks for joining me tonight, and I hope you all have a good night, and I'll see y'all next time. Um, check my series out on this. I'm starting from the starting from the very beginning. Um, I'm also doing a series on Starfield that I'm working on. It's going by very slowly. And what else do I have? It's something else too. But I also play a bunch of other games too, like you know, Fallout, Apex, all that fun stuff. But for now, beans, y'all have a good night. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.